April 24th, St. Fidelis of Sigmargian. Fidelis was born at Sigmargian in the year 1577 of noble parents. In his youth, he frequently approached the sacraments, visited the sick and the poor, and spent, moreover, many hours before the altar. For a time, he followed the legal profession and was remarkable for his advocacy of the poor and his respectful language toward his opponents. Finding it difficult to become both a rich lawyer and a good Christian, Fidelis entered the Capuchian order and embraced a life of austerity and prayer. Hair shirts, iron pointed girdles, and disciplines were penances too light for his fervor, and being filled with a desire of martyrdom, he rejoiced at being sent to Switzerland by the newly confounded Congregation of Propaganda and braved every pearl to rescue souls from the diabolical heresy of Calvin. While preaching at Sevis, he was fired at by a Calvinist, but the fear of death could not deter him from proclaiming the divine truth. After his sermon, he was waylaid by a body of Protestants headed by a minister who attacked him and tried to force him to embrace their so-called reform. But he said, I come to refute your errors, not to embrace them. I will never renounce Catholic doctrine, which is the truth of all ages, and I fear not death. On this response, they fell upon him with their daggers, and the first martyr of propaganda went to receive his reward. We delight in decorating the altars of God with flowers, lights, and jewels, and it is right to do so. But if we wish to offer to God gifts of higher value, let us, in imitation of St. Fidelis, save the souls who but for us would be lost. For so we shall offer him, as it were, the jewels of paradise.